Next problem, find the value of x in the equation. So, 10 bracket a over x plus a over y is equal to a. Yan yung equation 1. So, meron tayong equation 2 na 2 bracket 3a over x minus 4a over y is equal to a. Yan yung equation 2. So, focus muna tayo sa equation 1. So, simplify natin. So, sa mga ganitong type of problems, meron tayong two unknowns or three unknowns. Meron tayong a, x, and y. So, bale, sa rule of mathematics, kung meron tayong tatlong unknowns, dapat meron din tayong three equation. So, kung kung ilan yung but kung ilan yung bilang ng unknowns dapat yun din yung bilang ng equation so dapat masolve natin to so yung a is pwede nating simplify makakancel yan so yung equation 1 focus tayo sa equation 1 so magiging siyang 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 10 yung 10 dito is Pag tig-multiply natin ng 1 over 10, yung buong equation ng 1, so mawawala itong 10, tapos magkakaroon siya ng 10 dito. So, ayan yung simplest form ng equation 1. So, since x ang hinahanap, equate natin sa y yung equation 1. So, 1 over y is equal to 1 over 10 minus 1 over x. So, yan yung equation 1. Then, yung equation 2, simplify natin. So, magiging siyang 6. So, yung a is mawawala, magiging, magiging 1. So, magiging siyang 6 over x minus 8, 8 over y. So, pag lang, lang natin, so, 8 quantity 1 over y is equal to 1. So, yan yung equation 2. So, bali, substitute natin itong equation 1 sa equation 2. Substitute natin yung equation 1 sa equation 2. So, magiging siyang 6 over x minus 8 quantity 1 over 10. minus 1 over x equals 1 then shift solve so ayan so 7.7 .7. so hanapin natin yung 7.7 .7 sa 7.7 .7 sa mga option 7.7 .7, so fifty over nine. So sulat ko na lahat simultaneous solution. Yung B is eighty over nine. Para isahan lang na input seventy over nine. Pasunod-sunod, yan, yan, yan yung A, B, C, saka D. 60 over 9. So, yung A is 5.5. B is 8.8. C is 7.7. So, ito yung answer, C. C yung answer. So, D is 6.6. So, C ang answer.